Who are you? I'm Travis. Travis Scott. Travis Scott, welcome to Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Thank you, bro. Right off the bat, Travis, I have a gift for you. All right, right up. I have an Exodus LP for <laughs> you. <laughs> yeah, dope. This is a re-recording of Bonded by Blood. You're into Exodus. How'd you get into thrash metal and punk? Um, I like the t-shirts and images. The music is dope, too, and the aggression is kind of like how I feel inside. But this is the uh, t-shirt I wore in my Mama Cedar video. Yeah. It's also like Slayer and Maiden, too, right? Yeah. How'd you get into it? Like, what attracted you to it? Like, how did you, who told you about metal and thrash? Um, I went to I went to an elementary. Uh, some of my homies, they were, like, really into, like, metal. I never really got into it because it was, like, super hard to listen to. But I just like the um, aesthetic and, like, the vibes and the shows and, the like, the expression. So, yeah, I listen to it time to time, yeah. It's dope. In the Lights Out video, you have some Keith Haring art. <laughs> yeah, love sick. Amazing. I love Keith Haring. Yeah, I fuck with him. And I have a gift for you right here since it is Christmas time. A Run DMC postcard Christmas card record. It's actually a record with some Keith Haring art on it. Whoa. Check it out right there. Whoa, you went crazy. This is a wow Christmas card. It's amazing. Run DMC Christmas card and it comes as well with a 7 inch and an LP as well more oh. more Keith Haring art it's lit this is dope bro have you got any Keith Haring art like you put it in your video have you got it in your own Keith Haring art I guess you do now I do now thanks to my guy but I actually don't it's super expensive yeah <laughs> Has Leora Cohen told you anything about Run DMC? Because he did some stuff with Run DMC, like on the road and stuff. And there's a Run DMC Christmas flexi you could send Leora if you want. Has he told you anything about that? Nah, he, he never talked about them niggas. But um, I'm a, I got to actually ask him. That's some real tight. I always ask him about the, the Jay-Z tours and shit like that. I like that type of vibe. Leora also called you punk rock. Leora called you punk rock. Yeah. Um... Hey, man, I guess I wouldn't call myself punk rock, but yeah, I guess it's tight. But you do like the Sex Pistols. Yes. Yes, I fucking do. And Sid Vicious. Yes, that's my fucking idol. Do you like any other punk bands at all? Um, yeah, but not that I can, any I can think of the name, but just, you know, I'm not really into like the punk scene. I just like, you know, I like music, you know, um, I, the vibe is cool and shit, but I'm really into like. Your energy is very punk. Yeah, but I really like, you know, melodic shit. I like, you know, um, a lot of just like, like Tame Impala type shit. Like shit like that. I fuck with shit like that. Yeah. Well, I think it's really great that you're also into Malcolm McLaren. You like Malcolm McLaren, don't you? Malcolm McLaren? Who the fuck is that? The manager of the Sex Pistols, Malcolm McLaren. Okay. He comes along with the Sex Pistols. And I thought I'd give you a gift to introduce you to Malcolm McLaren. Here is a Malcolm McLaren Do Like Scratching LP with Keith Haring art as well on there. Bro, where the fuck you find this shit at, bro? This is fucking crazy. Yo, so this dude's a DJ too? He is a legendary manager and he also is a musician and he put together this record, Do You Like Scratching? And this has been sampled like by the Beastie Boys and a whole bunch of stuff and it has your favorite Keith Haring art. Keith Haring is everywhere, isn't he? Yeah, he's every fucking where. This is fucking actually rare as fuck. Man, I'm super dope that you told me about this. So. Yeah, there's some instrumentals on there too that you might be interested in sampling. It'd be something cool to sample. That's crazy. <laughs> I didn't even know that. Travis Scott, your dad was in a band FBI? <laughs> Is my dad? No, I don't think he did it. <laughs> nah. Firstborn of Israel? Nah. Yeah, he's in a band called FBI and a song called Reclaim the Pyramids and Sticks as well, the band Sticks. Yes, yeah, Sticks, yes. That was his first band. I don't know if this FBI is his new band. That's kind of it's kind of crazy. And he has another project, Weapons of Mass Destruction. You know more about my dad's shit than I do. This is crazy. I don't know anything about my dad's music and shit, but I know he plays the drums. He taught me how to play the drums. But Sticks, that's crazy. That's what he used to call himself. That was like his first drummer name. That's wild as fuck. That's cool. He's into music and he's working on projects too. Like you're working on projects and so is your dad. It's crazy. My dad had a studio in the um, den and I had a studio in my bedroom. And we used to get into like little fights and shit because he used to work on his music and I used to work on mine and then shit. And it was like, it was pretty fresh now because it's like, man, like it would be times when my dad would knock down my door because like we playing music too loud and I was making beats too loud. It's fucking crazy. You know that. It's fucking wow. That's crazy. I was like, I got to tell him to change this group from FBI. It's kind of like scary. <laughs> What's interesting as well, your grandfather, Prairie View, was a professor. That's your grandfather was a professor. Yeah, he was. Yeah. 
That is awesome. Yeah, super dope. And he was also into music as well, too, wasn't he? Yeah, um, he, was a, he was a jazz player. He played the piano and shit, and he was, like, very talented, and, you know, he was, like, my biggest inspiration in music, man. Like, he was, like, the one I tell my dad. He taught the flute player from the, um, the Quiet Storm um, shit. He was, like, the original Webster. He's the original La Flame. Rest in peace, man. Travis Scott, did you have a teacher called Mrs. Yeah. Whoa. My Spanish teacher? Is it from high school? Yeah. <laughs> she had the big titties. <laughs> yeah. Is that her? That's what I was curious about. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now, I remember she was my Spanish teacher. Um, she had the big tits. I remember, yeah. Yeah. And she was actually Spanish. I wonder where the fuck she's at. That's fucking crazy. How the fuck you know that, bro? <laughs> Travis Scott, we have to know. It's fucking crazy. Yeah. And Travis, what exactly is going on in this photo <laughs> right here? <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah, man, this is Christmas at my grandfather's house, actually. And yo, this is so wild. You see the CD I have in my hand? Yeah, what are you holding? I'm holding my mixtape. And on this day, I went to DJ Premier's house because my dad and DJ Premier, they like grew up together. They're like best friends. No way. Yeah. They're like, like my next door neighbor and shit, basically. So every Christmas, he comes to fucking Houston and I walked and gave him the CD. But he never did nothing with it. He just wanted to give me like some merch and shit. Kind of like pissed me off. But yeah, that's my brother and sister. They're twins. Jordan and Josh. OG Travis Scott. In the all Air Hardy. Flex. Travis, you're also into Jean-Michel Basquiat, aren't you? Yeah. That's kind of like the old, this is when, that's like the old Travis, man. I was into like the Basquiat, Keith Haring, yeah, like super early. It was just like a product of growing in Houston and I didn't really, you know, it was some art shit, but like that was kind of like the super ill shit, you know, I wanted to discover. But now it's like way more ill shit like Jim Joe and like even my homie Dozy, that nigga's ill, you know? I thought I'd get you some more Basquiat because I have the Ramel Z versus K-Rob Jean-Michel Basquiat illustrated 12 inch from 1983 for you. Bro, this is like a fucking amazing. <laughs> These are like all dope vinyls. It's like, fuck. Yeah, this is dope. And this is a CD too? What is it? What's on here? It's a 12 inch. It's Ramel Z versus K-Rob. It's actually a rap 12 inch from 1983. And Basquiat actually funded the record. So Ramel Z and K-Rob a rapper so it's an amazing rapper something maybe can sample as well it's fucking crazy rare facts so you be learning this shit on this shit this is okay. <laughs> as well Steve Boys and Cypress Hill sampled it too okay dope dope I noticed Mama Sita and I have a gift here for you samples Bobby Blue Bland yeah <laughs> yes it does how did that song come together Bobby Blue Bland man it's, it's interesting um, we actually made that beat for Diddy at his crib it was me Metro and Dahi yeah and like man Dahi had his laptop up Metro had his laptop up and like you know I think Dahi played the sample first or one of the either or and then like man I was like yo this is fucking crazy and Metro had like some drums on something else that was like dope as fuck, and they like put it together and then the sample, and it was just like boom, Mama Cita. Travis Scott, quote, nobody in the back chills. Nobody in the back chills? Travis Scott, New Year's Eve 2014 at the Waldorf in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Travis Scott, New Year's Eve at the Wardorf, British Columbia, Canada. Yeah, do you remember that gig? You were in Vancouver on New Year's Eve. No one in the back chills. That's what you oh. said. What does that mean? <laughs> Yo, there's no bystanders. I wish I still had that chain. But I, don't, I hate at my shows when people just like sit around and fucking like, uh, you know, just like not do shit, man. It's like you got a show and especially my shit. You need to be sweating, you know, like some type of steam, raging. Yo, you know, you just got to live life, man. Yeah. For gigs and stuff, you've actually brought an entire crowd into a back room like in Connecticut. You yeah. did that? That's incredible. You definitely know about that one. That's fucking crazy. Yeah, that was rare. I did a show maybe like a year and a half ago or maybe like two years ago and no one came. It was probably like all of 10 people, 14 people. So instead of performing in that big ass venue, I just took them backstage and performed backstage. 
Travis Scott, in the Classmates McBride video, it copies Kanye's Through the Wire. Have you told Kanye about that or showed him the video? <laughs> no, man, I haven't. I haven't since I took it down, but that's crazy. You know about that joint. Yeah, it was like a college, like when I was in college just trying to vibe, I put that video together. That's dope, you know. <laughs> and it's exactly like Through the Wire. You did a great job on that. Did you do that editing? It was incredible. Yeah, I did. Do you remember that store, Bucky's? Do you know Bucky's store? Do you ever st What's Bucky's? It's big in Texas, isn't it? Bucky's. It's like a gas station out there. Like when you take road trips to San Antonio and shit, you always stop at a Bucky's. You always getting switches from the Bucky's. You always getting like that's crazy to you know about the Bucky. <laughs> that's wild. Yeah. Travis Scott, we have some other people over here, and we have a DJ Chase B somewhere. Chase. Who is DJ Chase B as we round up DJ Chase B? Could you explain who DJ Chase B is? Um, it's my DJ. Come man. Over here, DJ Chase B. What's up, dogs? What, what, what can you say about Travis Scott? What's up? What's up? What can I say about him? Uh, it's been my friend for a very long time, you know? Uh, childhood friend, you know, now we're in Vancouver about to do a show. So and you're repping the Grizzlies, I say again. Sharif, man, he was a beast, dog. You know what I'm saying? That's like the Kobe Bryant NBA courtside in 64 days and shit. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Yes. What can you say about DJ Chase B? You know, this is a light-skinned <laughs> Irish number one DJ phenomenon sneaker pro. Four eye flexing, Irish oil spilling, no gas smoking, Jameson chugging, number one spinner. I know, bro. Number one spinner. You're spinning a lot, aren't you, DJ Chase B? Uh, yeah, pretty often. Yeah, I, I can say that. And I brought you some gifts here for the tour because I thought it was important for you to spin some stuff. What do we have right here? Some DJ Cool for you. Wow. Oh, shit. Yo. Uh, what can you say about DJ Cool? Let me clear my throat is like the reason I'm a DJ. That's like my favorite shit ever. So DJ Cool is like the man. And he's some DC shit, so. And underneath it, we have another one of your favorites. Wow. Yo. I can't lie, bro. You snap. I actually bought this in DC and I lost it when I moved out. Kid Capri. That's my favorite DJ of all time. Look at the cover. I love the cover. Look at the cover. I love. Look what he. Look what he's. Look what he's got on the cover. He's got the cassette. It's crazy. Oh gee. Wow. Yeah. No. This is like wow, you. You snap, bro. Bro. You're a fucking pro. I love. I like you. You smart. You lawyer. <laughs> Well, thank you. And underneath, we have some Biz Marquee. This is crazy, yo. Like, See, bro, covers ain't like this no more. You know what I'm saying? This shit crazy. When I first started DJing, I was a huge, like, 80s hip-hop head and shit. So, like, I'll be square them all. That's, like, one of my favorite songs ever. Hey, bro, I'm going to let you know, bro. I, to, to, to recall a lot of this shit, it's kind of crazy. Yeah, bro. I don't, I don't know how you... It's on 10. It's crazy. Well, thanks so much, Chase B and Doo Doo Loo Doo. Dot, dot. Thank you. Anything else you want to add to the people out there at all? Yo. Kanye West for president and I have one more question what are those <laughs> tiger of London <laughs> are you pointing to my pants are you pointing to my shoes are you pointing pointing to the bulge in my pants And you are, Travis Scott, Travis, I was curious, speaking about pants here, how do you keep your pants up when you're performing? It's incredible. Belt. But they're about to fall down. The belt must be really tight. Belt. Well, thanks so much, Travis. Keep on rocking in the free world and do-do-do-do-do. Do those. <laughs>